Let's paint dolphins. This is the original reference photo that you can download on Pixabay. You can use graphite paper to trace. I recommend good paper for the best results. Here's a list of the materials you'll need, or at least would be really helpful. And you may want to put newspaper down to protect your table. The first thing I'm going to do is wet this paper down front and back completely, completely damp, not just a little on the surface, but wet it through and through. If you want an easy way to do it, you can soak it in a sink, but just make sure it's completely wet before you start. If your paper is completely damp, it should lay perfectly flat and stick to your backboard. If it starts to buckle up and you have hills and valleys, it's not wet enough. The next thing we want to do is to mix up our dark and light wash. Mixing up enough paint is key to getting it a smooth blended wash. If you don't have a big enough place on your palette to mix a big puddle of paint, you can get small containers. I got these at the dollar store or old yogurt cups or you can use a hot glue gun to create a nice thick well on your palette that's smaller that'll hold more paint. I'm using paint right from the tube and I'm starting with some in Danthrone blue. Put in about that much and I fill it about the third the way with water. I would use a small brush or a palette knife or a toothpick. As you can see, it's going to take some effort to stir this into a smooth homogeneous wash that doesn't have any lumps. A tiny little mixer would be nice. By putting this in a small container, if I have leftover, I can take it to class for the students tomorrow or save it for later. If you're going to keep yours for later, I would use distilled water to make sure you're not introducing any mold that will ruin the paint. So there's my darkest wash. You can see I already got some spattered on there. I'm going to get some of the ultramarine blue, get a nice puddle of that to make a medium wash. And I have some cerulean blue left over from another lesson. That's a real pretty light blue color. So I might mix the two of them together here a bit for a lighter wash. Okay, your paper should still be laying flat. Mine's buckled up a little bit right there. So I'm gonna re-wet that spot. Actually, I'll just re-wet the whole back. The back tends to dry fast. And having this lay flat is really important. Okay, we're back to flat. I'm going to start with the light blue at the top. I'm using a three quarter inch oval silver black velvet wash brush. I'm not worried about the light at the top. I didn't mask it out. I'll put it in with white at the end. I'll come down about a fourth of the way and then without washing out my brush, I'm dipping into the medium blue wash. And now I'm going to dip into the dark blue wash. Whoa, that is really dark. Remember that the water on your paper 
is going to dilute this a bit. And I'll work a little bit of it up into here. It would be nice if it's wet enough to move when you turn the paper. If it's not wet enough to move when you turn the paper, you can use a misting bottle to add a little bit more liquid. We'll see if it'll move then. Can you see it running down the page? If you like that effect, you can lay it flat and let it dry with this kind of a drippy effect. Since I'm going for smooth, I'm going to run it down a little farther and then I'll turn it the other way to blend. And I'll windmill it a little bit. Turn it one way, the other way. You can move the paint and blend your colors by letting gravity do it and you'll get a nice smooth wash. So be patient, take your time. Okay, that's not probably as dark as I wanted at the bottom, but I, I like this light area here. I kind of like what's going on there. So I'm going to stop here and dry it. I dried the top. I didn't lift it up and dry the bottom. And the reason I dried it is because I want the paint to set where it's at. I'm a little worried about not being able to see my dolphins if I put a darker wash on it. So I'm going to make them a little bit darker here. I put more ultramarine blue and a little bit of phthalo blue into my medium blue mix just to make it thicker. I'm fine with the light area up here, but I want it to be a little more mysterious, so I want to get down to some real darks at the bottom. In order to re-wet the top, I'm going to use my spray bottle. This can re-wet the surface without disturbing the paint underneath. Once again, I held it up until it quit dripping. Now I'm going to be very careful in applying more color. I'm loading my brush. And then I'm going to dip my brush in the clean water and let some of that paint go out. Do it again. Now I'm dipping my brush in the dark. Scary. And I'm going to start at the bottom. Dip my brush in the clean water. Pull it across the edge of my dirty water dish. And let's see how that looks. I'm going to do a little more turning. The paint's not quite wet enough to move.
I, this is an okay blend. This I have a big blob of dark over there. So I'm going to add a little more dark. So that it goes all the way across. Actually, that looks kind of like the bottom of a coral reef or something. I'm kind of liking that. Now, I can just stop there and keep that. Or you could keep giving it another little cautious spray and tilting until you get a smooth, even blend. But I like that. I think I'm going to keep that. When you get something you want to keep, lay it flat and dry it on your hair dryer at a low setting so you don't push the paint around with the wind. All right, next I'm going to paint the dolphins. I'm going to paint the first dolphin on the top with a mixture of my medium and dark blue. And I'm going just to the dark blue as I get more towards the bottom. This guy in the middle, I'm going to put some dark blue where I see it. And then I wash out my brush, take most of the water out, and I'm going to re-wet where I want it lighter. and lift up what paint I can. Oop, that was too much water. The bottom dolphin's gonna have to be mostly dark blue just to show up. Next, I'm going to take some white. I'm using Pro White by De La Roni. And I'm going to put a line of white very thin across the top of this guy. Then I wash out my brush, take most of the water out and soften the bottom edge of that line by rubbing it gently. And he has a fin I missed. Going right there. And it has a tiny, tiny bit of white on the edge of that fin. And a little bit on his nose. This guy's still wet, so I'm gonna jump down to him. He has a little bit of white right there. There.
wash out the color, wipe off the excess water, and soften up these lines. The guy in the middle has quite a bit of white. He has white on this fin. And the top of this fin. And some right there. And I've lost my dark with the white, so I'm going to put it back in. To suggest the water at the top, the very top, I'm mixing some more medium. I'm going to pull some like this. You don't want this a lot darker, just maybe one shade darker. And then I might get a little bit more dark to put in once you're sure the shape is right. But you don't need too much going on up here. So this is a streaky wash. We just did this in the sky of one of the lessons. I really like the white that's up in there. Let's see if it's too wet to put some in. Just gonna dot some in. And that's about it. Now you could draw some grasses down here in dark green or light green. Um, you could lift up some rays of light coming through. I think a ray of light going that way would be quite nice. But I would be cautious in doing that. Rewet tiny bit and rub. Because it's going to just anything you do here is going to disturb your wash and you're never going to get it back. So be really cautious about lifting or putting in your rays of light. And the same thing with the bubbles. If you want some bubbles, try re wetting and lifting up. And you may have dropped on some bits of water and 
made bubbles unintentionally, but in this case, it's gonna work. If you want very definite bubbles, you could use some white, but I think that might be a bit too much. And if you like the rays of light, you can do one or three. I wouldn't really do two. I think I'm gonna just stick with one. So there's my dolphins. I hope yours turn out great. I hope you like it. Happy painting.